fight right here, rolling with Clay Milliken, one of the greatest races in the world. Alright, Sunday morning, race day, and this very tall gentleman comes up, <laughs> got a cleater shirt on, and he shows me this picture. That's him. How long ago? 16 years ago. 16 years ago. I'm getting old. <laughs> no. I'm getting old. Like, look, look. It's crazy. Let me show him the back of your shirt. So there's old Brent, there's Cleeter, and I joined him. So where'd y'all run, where'd you run into Cleeter at? Alright, so my dad got this for me up in Maryland at uh, World awesome. Cup. Awesome. Yes, sir. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Appreciate you coming out. Thank you, sir. That is crazy. You're tied, Jeff. All right, folks. Round one. I don't know what quad we are. Second. Doesn't matter. We are second quad. Donna called that because of who was choosing quads. And it is time to go. We, we are go. ready to go. I'm just glad I got to see you, Clay. I've had, you've been busy this morning. I know. It's crazy. <laughs> Jeff, you've been busy? Yes. It's been a busy morning. I don't know why I've been busy, but it has been busy. But all good. Time to go. We need three wind lights today. Just three. That's it. One, two, three. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Joe Morrison went deep, threw me off. I was probably like two seconds on the Christmas tree, but uh, 375. I don't know what it did for speed, but it blew up uh, ugly. It's part of it. Same way I was driving right then. What? <laughs> so I bet you I was like one to two seconds on the tree. I'm not kidding you, it was bad. Yeah. It was bad. Made me mess up because okay. it took him a while. Lane two, and I was lane one. Yeah, I thought I. What'd you run? We ran 71. 71. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Yep. Yep. We are good. You feel old enough where that you've been around long enough to be in the Hall of Fame? That is so crazy. You know, <clears throat> I think when you text me, I, I said, I think that just means I'm old. <laughs> you know, it's crazy that... Uh, you tell me that. <laughs> at, least you, at least you still got something you can come with. My forehead's getting higher, though. <laughs> <laughs> and Mike doesn't have that problem. Yeah, Mike doesn't have that problem. It's 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 hair's it's still it's perfect. It, it's turned a little grayish, but it's still... It's blonde. It's blonder. It's, blonder. it's going back to blonde. <laughs> okay. I, was, I was toehead when I was little, <laughs> so it's working its way back. It's like Benjamin Button kind of thing going on. So what does that mean to you guys? I mean, it's not like you don't have the trophies and the memories and all that. But you don't you I mean, need the recognition. But. <laughs> you know, it's, it's one of those things where it's like, it's awesome that, that people, you know, recognize what we did. And at the same time, you know, you have that little thought in the back of your head, like, hey, I'm still doing this, yeah. you know, and me and Mike are still out here battling away at it. But to be... You know, recognized is 
it's just crazy to me. You know, it's what we did. It was a super special time. Uh, I saw Peter Lehman, which none of this would have been possible without Peter. I saw him comment that it could have been the most dominating stretch of motorsports ever. And that's pretty cool to even think that. You know, while it was happening as much bracket racing as I had did, I knew we weren't supposed to be able to do what we were doing. You know, and it was like uh, the movie Tin Cup. You ride her till she bucks you, you know, and, and that's that's what we did. You know, uh, the group of people was amazing. Every person that was involved with that whole thing from day one, we eat, sleep, breathe, race car. That is all we did. That, I mean, period. And lots of hours, lots of work, lots of... Uh, work until people got sick literally like the there was more than once somebody had to go to the emergency room from oh, dehydration yeah. or you know just from chopping the end of their finger off yeah i mean <laughs> or or even peter tried to make sure we ate well he scalded himself trying to fix pasta or something because i got food poisoning one time yeah. i had to go to the that hospital for peter's cooking no 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 that was not, <laughs> not not from anyone's cooking that was uh Mexican food place yeah. in Tucson, Arizona, where we were doing testing, but I had to go to the hospital. I was, I per, I was pretty sure I was dying. <laughs> it's really great to see Clay get recognized and put in the in the Hall of Fame. Certainly deserves to be in the Ice Race Hall of Fame. Um, we still today get people at every every NHRA race that we go to that remember the Werner car, the Werner days, yeah. and how dominant we were, and so on and so forth, and uh, how well our car ran in the NHRA events when we brought it over. And uh, so there's no weekend that goes by that we don't get a, a recollection um, it's be a from, from somebody, yeah, so, you know, it's, uh, you know, I, I, I get personally for me, you know, it's like, hey, I'm really glad to see you back with Clay again, so on and so forth. And uh, it's, you know, really the only reason why I would have ever come back racing again would be able to race with Clay. Yeah. And uh, so it's just a, this is great. And I'm really happy to see him, you know, get put in the Hall of Fame. He's very, very, very deserving as a, probably one of the most dominant top field drivers in the history of IHRA. And, man, I just, I hate that it, I mean, I'm, I'm, yes, I'm excited that I'm in the Hall of Fame, but I wish it would have been like, you know, leaving racing, yeah, Warner, yeah. Warner, Warner team, you know, Hall of Fame, because from start to finish, it was basically the same core group of people. All right, folks, getting ready to roll up for round two, quad two, whatever you want to call it, and it has been a wild crazy service uh, uh, to the point we did not have time to warm it up not sure exactly how it's going to act when we get up there but uh, it's, it's time to go no warm up very unusual uh, we'll see what happens man race cars always throw you a curveball it's uh, it's frustrating and rewarding all at the same time frustrating right now but you know what I love being out here I love you guys tuning in and watching and we'll see what happens time to roll stop on that loud pedal all right well, so uh, oh boy. another wild Sunday we did get a burnout done though yeah, we did. We did it. We did it. <laughs> well, actually, my favorite burnout was the first one you did oh, Friday you night. Whack at the end. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. I'm like, I'm oh like, yeah, that sounded fun. Yeah, I had to uh, like, you know, have fun on a burnout. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> after, after Atlanta. So, yeah, everybody, he does the most awesome burnouts. <laughs> you know, you, you know. He, he thinks he's driving a funny car to burn out. <laughs> <laughs> he could probably pitch it sideways oh, and slide it all around. Oh. So I know a lot of y'all that watch, you know, y'all are car guys and this, that, and the other. And the burnouts in this thing, maybe that'd be one of the things we do, but you're talking about using literally like this much throttle. That's it. I mean, it's uh, so it's fun to not use the throttle stop where you just whack it and hit the throttle stop and yeah. 
But you need water down to do that. <laughs> if you're going to roll into it, you know, the old fashioned way, the ways that, you know, the way that the really old badass drivers, oh. you know, like the, like Poldy yeah. and Perdome oh, and yeah. McCulloch and, you know, those guys, you yeah. know, they all did, you know, really fun burn, you know, Force can do a burnout. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. But but he he, he he has to have a throttle stop. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He can do really long ones, or he used oh, to. Oh, he, oh yeah. he can he can do a burnout, but nowadays he's on for all stop like 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 ninety nine percent of the yeah, guys. Yeah. But uh, um, we talk about this occasionally. Hopefully, we're not boring you. But Clay does the burnout. We have a stop on there because it's required by the by the rules. However, um, Clay doesn't use the stop. He, you know, it stops open a little bit further than some of the other guys. But he's he's doing it by himself. He's 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 not. Uh, clanking it to the stop. He's squeezing the throttle off and, and then feathering in and out of the throttle in the burnout. Because I get to watch the engine arc him <laughs> and the tire speed and all that. But I know. can tell you what we did learn in Atlanta though. Because I knew it wasn't spinning the tires and I went to the stop, that smokes the clutch right out of it. Yeah, he drove by me going like a hundred. I'm like, wow. Okay, yep, we're effed. Yeah. Well, I, I knew that, so I thought, man, if I just freaking really get after it, it'll go on and... You it'll know, go ahead and smoke the yeah, tires. No, no, I didn't. It just no. drove faster. Yeah, it, and smoked the clutch. Yeah, it, it smoked something. So... Moving forward. But burnouts were a sore subject, so... Yeah, yeah, and so we got that out of the way Friday night. That was fun. To yeah. Give it a little whack at the end there, but... So today, y'all, was uh, very interesting. First round was absolutely wild and crazy. Um, guy named J uh, we, we kind of jokingly and, and lovingly called him Jim Morrison. Uh -huh. but, you know, Jim Morrison of the doors. Joe Morrison was beside us in the quad, and we every all four cars are staged, and he turns the top bulb out absolutely caught me 100% off guard because it made me look at what happened because it was very late Justin Ashley went red I'm freaking 200 on the tree and the car freaking our car luckily hauled butt with 375 321 375 321 321 unfortunately it uh, it wasn't happy it right at the finish line it chunked a rod out, made a mess. Like I say, hurt the motor, uh, got another one put in. The guys did a great job getting it in there. Whether it was fire Friday night, because we didn't really have no fire first round. No, just a boom. Just a boom. And long story short, go up there, the car just won't, well, it won't start. Uh, so you might explain the safety system a little bit well, everything was plugged in, and um, you know, in the in the pits before the run, the the system was fine. Uh, when something's tripped, the screen turns red, and so in the pits it was fine. We go up there and start the car, um, start her on, spin the motor over, put some gas in it, go to go to start it. I don't want to start, and I look over at the box, and I can look through the windshield and see where the box is. That's a thing you always see people reaching into yeah. the under the under the in the driver's compartment mostly yeah. is where those are typically and whatnot. And I saw the screen; it was red. And so you check the big obvious things, you know, manifold tether because if that's not plugged in, the car won't start. Um, a couple other cables that are part of the safety system. So somewhere, you know, we we, we probably threw a chunk of aluminum and a cable and and got it grounded out yeah. and. Um, um, so sadly, we couldn't uh, couldn't make it start. And uh, well, as we said in our team meeting, we're just going to put all that in our rearview mirror and and, and uh, go down to Houston and and uh, yep. give them give them hell down there. Yeah, I mean the car run is running really good and race cars. We're uh, we we got the the monkey or the monster on our back at the moment. You know, mess up in Atlanta. I don't want to call it a mess up here, but it is what it is. But yeah, we should have at least been in the final round. Yeah, I mean, we needed to have went better than 381 to have made the final. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. We weren't in, we didn't get up there to stage to find that out. As always, folks, we appreciate you guys tuning in, watching, comment, and like we said, something y'all want to see in particular, just comment down below. Me and Michael 
at some point, figure out how to uh, explain it, tell you about it, tech stuff, race car stuff. Put a comment down below. Thank you guys for tuning in and watching us. See ya. See ya. All right, y'all, hanging out, waiting on qualifying time, and this young man just walked up. What'd you just ask me? Do you still have the Boosted Boys concert? The Boosted Boys and EFI, they're awesome, right? Yeah. <laughs> y'all have fun at the races, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.